Another tutorial by Big Al's Barber Channel. Another special edition of Quarantine Tutorials, guys. This one I dug up into the rafters of all my videos, guys. This video, this was filmed back in um, last year of September. And uh, you could tell this guy right here, he looks like he's been in quarantine for a year. So I'm assuming that a lot of people out there right now that are looking for videos to cut their hair are probably looking as raggedy as this guy right here. So what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna do a basic haircut on this gentleman which was a perfect haircut for this video because it's just a basic haircut all I'm doing right here guys is I'm going with a number eight because his hair was so long and so thick on the size that I just decided to go up with a number eight first of all because all we're gonna do on him is just clean him up do like a regular haircut nothing fancy no fade no taper we're just gonna clean up the sides get him down to a level playing field get it nice and even um, taper it up just a tad well, not to a zero but just taper the haircut down box it off in the back and then we're gonna do a beard trim on him and just clean them all up and make them look more civilized and I'm assuming that a lot of people out there right now are looking for these tutorials on how to do self cuts or you know in case you want to have your wife do it for you or a friend do it for you or whoever's gonna do the haircut for you you can see that this is a pretty basic system right here guys so what I'm using right here is I'm using any machine that you might have guys any machine that you might have I'm using my wall cordless machine fancy but if you're doing a home haircut you're probably not gonna have this so what you want to do is you're gonna use your longest clip which is usually a number eight if it came in a the kit they'll come with a number eight seven six five four three the only thing you got to keep in mind is that every every number goes into the next number so one goes into a two two goes into a three three goes into a four and vice versa if you have your handle open on your machine that's a half so if you put a three on there the candles open it's a three and a half if you have the handle closed it's a three keep that in mind so right now we're going with the number eight and we're going right off the sides of the head guys we're just really focusing around the crown of the head the crown of the head is a, around the head if he was wearing a crown like a crown, like a royal crown, it would only go around his head. It'd be the bottom of the crown and the top of the crown. The crown would probably be about two inches wide. So it, just imagine that around his head going all the way around. So we're going from the bottom all the way to the top of the crown without going into the parietal ridge. The parietal ridge is the edge of the head that turns from side to the top of the head. That little ridge right there, that's called the parietal ridge. So right here, we're just going with the number eight probably lever closed and we're just going right up the sides guys and we're just leveling it out as I get to the parietal ridge without going into the head I'm just going right off the sides and going right off so if this is somebody's doing this haircut for you guys this is very simple you know you, you don't want to do nothing if you're doing a self cut at home you don't really want to do nothing fancy you don't want to really try a zero I know that's probably the haircut you normally get but right now for quarantine sakes you just want to look presentable you want to look you know half decent so the best thing to do is just do a regular haircut you know the regular haircut is pretty simple so right here like i said we're going with a number eight now the reason i'm using a number eight on him this gentleman is because his hair was so long on the sides he probably had it two inches maybe an inch and a half two, yeah probably about two inches so a number eight and any number eight on in any system of haircutting is one inch so just think we're taking off about an inch off the side right now we're kind of just leveling it out as you can see, once I cut the hair, um, what I do is I comb it down in the direction that you want it to sit. You always want to do that after you cut it. So right there, I'm just cleaning from the bottom up, just getting it all nice and level. Still the number eight, going all the way around. Now this machine, any machine that you might have at home will work for this, just as long as you have all the clips. If you buy yourself a brand new little set at Walmart or something like that, that's fine, because it's only for a home haircut. Uh, those machines will work perfect to do this haircut with also as long as you have some clips to go along with it then you'll be okay you know if you have a if your machine if your clips if your your set of clips didn't come with a number eight has a six five four that's fine start with the six your hair might not even be long enough for a number eight on the sides so if you have a shorter haircut and say you have already like a five on the sides and you just want to clean it up and you want to start with the five or with a four then go with the three you want to climb your numbers on your way down as you go down your numbers you're going to start from the bottom and go up 
So right there, I'm still going with the number eight. I'm about to switch it out and I'm throwing number six on there. Unless I already did it, which, no, that still looks like a number eight to me. Six is a lot thinner. So I'm just kind of cleaning up all the edges going around the parietal ridge, around the sides. Getting it on nice and clean, see? And when I go off the sides, when I, when I get to the top right there by the top of the crown, instead of going into the head, I'm just going right off, kind of like a C-cup motion, bringing the, flipping my machine outwards. So that way I don't go into the parietal ridge. You don't want to take off that parietal ridge hair because that hair right there is kind of, is, is a hair that's going to lay back and look nice. So there we got a number eight all the way around. Now what I'm going to do is switch out my, my clip and I'm going to put a number six on it. Went with a number six now. I skipped the seven, went straight to the six, guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right up the edges and almost to the same spot, just a little bit lower. I could go seven first. If you want to do steps, you could go seven, six, five, and then get it as short as you want. Three, you could even go down to a number one if you do steps all that way down. It just depends on how short you want the size. But as you can see right here, I'm going with a six. A six is going to fade right into a number eight. So there was no really no need to go with a... But for this sake of the video, we're gonna say it's the number six. So now we got the six down. Oh, that was, see, that was a six. And now I'm gonna hear this is the number four. So now I skipped the five now, I'm now I'm to the number four. And the reason why I skipped it, guys, is because I'm tapering downward, okay? I'm, I'm tapering downward. So now I'm starting way at the bottom and I'm going only to the center of the head. You notice that? I'm only going right to the middle. I'm not going as high, nowhere near as high as I did before. Cause now we're in the groove here. Now we got we got a little bit uh, a structure here. As you can see, all the longer hair is all done. And I'm going right to those corners. See those corners right there? You really want to, you want to take those nice and tight with the number four. Cleaned it all up right there. Now it's starting to look more civilized already. Bringing this young gentleman back right here. This guy's actually a regular of mine, but he's one of these guys that only comes in every probably every three months, maybe four months. Right here, it looked like he hadn't I hadn't seen him in a long time. So right there, what I'm just doing is I'm cleaning up the, the sideburn right there, and I, I can see you can see the hair that just pops out. And what I'm using right here is that guys, I'm using my trimmer. I'm using a scalatorized trimmer now for you guys that are doing home haircuts, guys, and you don't have a fancy trimmer like this. You're not even you probably, you might not even have a trimmer at all. If you don't have a trimmer at all, you can use the machine that you're using now. Just turn it sideways, turn it, and use the edge like the corner. And the same way I'm using this machine, you're gonna use the machine that you have. Close the lever on it, make sure it's closed, that way you can get, you get zeros it out, and you're just gonna go down around the ear, just the way, same, same exact way I use it, that trimmer right there, you're gonna do the exact same thing on your on your hair too. And see the way I'm doing right there, that's, the, that's one of the sides right there. You're gonna make sure you line that line up right there. That's like one of the most important lines right there, clean up your neck lining it up see how I went with that machine the same way if you don't have a trimmer then you're gonna want to use your machine that you have close the machine with a lever closed and you're gonna turn it sideways and you're gonna do the same thing and don't trust me you're not gonna cut the person if you dab down on the machine with it upside down it's gonna do create a straight line just like that see how that looks right there now we're gonna go to the other side we're gonna do the same thing on the other side Pretty much, guys, the sides are like almost done right here at this point. We're not gonna go much shorter than this. I'm probably gonna taper it out a little bit in the back and then in the, um, not taper it out to a zero, but taper down a little bit, maybe to a three or even a two, and then box it off. And see how I do one side first and then I do the other side without doing the back? The back you save for the end. You do both sides first, that way you have two sides, your two lines, and then you're gonna box off the bottom. See, I did the other side, now I did that side. Now I'm gonna go in the middle and I'm gonna box it off. It's like I said, if you don't have a fancy trimmer like this, or if you don't have a trimmer, you can use the machine that you have at home. Your machine that came at Walmart, you just close it and turn it the other way. Just boxing it out right there, guys. Super simple. Same way, if, like say for instance, you having your wife do this for you or your significant other or, or you know what I mean? Um, you can do this haircut at home very easily, just the same way. You're not using the machine that you have, turn it the other way and, and close the lever on it and you'll be able to, to get the almost the exact same line. Maybe not as sharp as this because this is a trimmer and it's made for this, but you'll get it, 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 it sharp enough that you'll get you know, some good structure on it. 
so right there we're already done with the size guys he didn't want it too short you know we went with an eight seven and then a six and then we brought him down to a four at the bottom tapered up the bottom and um now we're just going to take off some of the top now on the top i wanted to comb it all back but as i could see there was kind of a, a, a part there so i didn't want to really take too much off because he for some reason this guy was adamant about keeping his length and and he was just there for a cleanup and he just went on like no problem bro no problem i got you we're gonna keep it nice and thick so so on the top you know he probably on top probably has like maybe three inches you know maybe a little bit more than that but in reality all i'm gonna take off is probably like an inch maybe half an inch three quarters of an inch but see how i parted it right there and then he right away he noticed i was putting a little part there and he goes can you see the mirror real quick and you know what guys when you're cutting hair you guys already know man the 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 customer's always right so you know a lot of times clients will say hey can i see your mirror and then he's telling me right there i kind of want to comb it back and i'm like told him it's okay you're gonna comb it back but the way i'm gonna cut it i want to cut it in the, you know i want usually when i cut like this especially when you got this much hair it's it's almost hard to figure out where to start you know like you have to know where to start where your first your, your first uh, uh, guideline is going to be and right there i decided i start on one side of the head and just start off going towards the back and the back was super long so i wanted to make sure i took more off the back than the front now i'm going to come up and i can see my guideline there that i started on the other side taking the same amount and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go even more on this, guys. I just, I don't like taking a lot out at first cut. So even if, if the, say the person has a four inches or five inches on top, I'm not gonna come in and knock off three inches right off the bat because I'm in a hurry. No, I'm probably gonna take off an inch at a time and do more strokes and get it down to the, to the size that I want it. That way I could just continue to move on. But for you guys that are doing home haircuts, if your hair is not that long on top, you know, like as far as much as this guy, then you'll have a lot easier time. Uh, your significant other, like I said, if they're going to do the haircut for you or whoever's doing the haircut for you, um, just when you do the top, you know, have them take off a little bit at a time, create a guideline and move from basically what you want to do is part the top four ways, four sections, do each section and try to level them all out at the same time. And then when you're done, you're going to come back from side to side to try to checker it so that they, they land the other way too. So right there, I already cut from front to back, guys. So like I said, I'm going to go, I'm going to checker it. So you, now you see me going from side to side. I'm starting from one side and I'm going the other way. And whatever I see that's uneven, when you lift up the hair, you're going to notice when you come from front, front to back, you're going to miss a lot of hairs. So that's why you checker from side to side. That way when you... you come back and double check your work you will be able to tell what you actually miss and um you know like to give you guys a little review for you guys that are doing home haircuts out there and you know like say for instance if you don't even want to do this on top guys if your hair is not even that long on top you could just run a number on it make it easier for yourself like say you had a number eight on top which is one inch you comb your hair back your hair your hair slicks back you could probably do a number eight if an eight is too long then move your way down move your way to seven to a six and then and then towards the back of the head you're going to go a little bit shorter so say you do an eight in the front then you're going to do a seven in the back or a six in the back and, and you could do it that way and the hair will still comb back and everything Right here, this guy was calm. He was congratulating me for for doing a good job on his hair so far. This guy was so happy to be getting a haircut. It was funny, man. It's funny. I like this guy. He always gives me a challenge when he comes in. So right there, the haircut's almost done, guys. It's pretty much done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the beard. And, and as far as the beard goes, it's like he still wanted it thick. Like I said, he has that that uh, that quarantine look going. So basically, we're just cleaning it up. Now you see me right there. I'm kind of just using the edge of the trimmer. Now, if you don't have a trimmer, like I said, you could do this exact same thing with the machine that you have. You're just gonna use it in the same angle I'm using that one. You're gonna turn it upside down, and you're gonna use that blade, and you're gonna line it up. So what I'm doing right there is I first thing I do when I do with my beards, I always do that side right there by the side of the sideburn. I'm gonna come down and line that line up. Now what I'm gonna do is just brush out the brush out your beard, you know, because this guy right here, like I said, he looked like he'd been in quarantine for a year. So I'm trying to line it up, trying to get all the little hairs, you know, get them all situated. I'm pretty sure that this guy right here, what I did is I just freehand it. Because see how I freehanded? I'm just kind of like taking down the stragglers. So if it's bulky now, if he sees bunchy, I'm just gonna come straight down with it. See how I'm just coming down? That's freehanding, guys. I'm just kind of like shaping it out, shaping it out. Because he didn't want to lose almost none of the hair. He wanted it nice and thick. He didn't want to take too much off. 
So basically, I'm just lining it up, lined up on the side of the sideburn first, and then I just go down the side of the front, the, the bottom, and just kind of get it as straight as I can and go towards the middle. But at the same time, what I'm doing right there is I'm just shaping it out. I'm just shaping it. Because all it is is like a big sponge. So what you go in there with your machine, and you could be doing the same exact same thing. It, 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 you know, if, if the person you're giving a haircut has a big beard like this, you could use a machine that you have, your Walmart machine, and you could be scraping it down the same way and kind of just shaping it out. See right there? Now I'm lining up the side right there without taking it down too deep. Because he wants it nice and thick right there. Freehand, that's called a freehand shape on the beard, guys. If you guys don't know, I mean, I, I, if I would have took a number one to a number eight, because it's the longest clip that we have, if I would have put a number eight, some of you might think, like, why not use a number eight? Because a number eight could have been too short. An eight is one inch. He probably has like three inches down there, maybe four inches. So he wants to keep that length. So when you have that length like that, you have to freehand it and just shape it out. And this machine right here, this is uh, the Gold FX, Galatorized Gold FX. It's perfect for this, guys. I actually mach missed this machine. I, you know, I haven't been using it at all lately because I dropped it one day and, and they don't, it's, it's almost impossible to find blades for it. Nobody ever has blades for it anymore. So right there, I'm shaping out the other side same way, guys. I want to welcome everybody that's joined our YouTube channel, guys. If you guys are here for home haircuts, I welcome you guys. You know, I know you guys are out there not working also, or and all the barbers are closed up. So, I, you know, I, I welcome you guys, and hopefully you guys get this done. So right there, again, I'm just going down, trying to match it up with the other side, guys. Not go too far down. You want to match it up. Once you clean up that cheek right there, man, it changes the whole style of the haircut, guys. All of a sudden, this guy's like looking handsome you know what i mean like you gotta bring him back to life now i'm gonna shape him up lift up his head i'm gonna see how i'm pulling all the hairs down once i i brush the, i comb the hairs down what i can see what hairs is gonna sponge out and that out that way i can shape out the beard the way i want it to shape out and like i said guys if you're doing a home haircut you could be doing this all with one machine it's not very hard somebody asked me if there was a there's a machine out there bronze something or another that that doesn't have a lever has clips but no lever it sounds like it's kind of a so if it has no lever that means that there's no half on it if you have a lever on there your lever goes up and down and that's a half that's kind of a that's what you need to fade if you don't have a lever on your machine it's really impossible to fade guys i mean you can probably do it but it's be very difficult especially if you're a novice or you're just doing a home haircut it's, it'd be very very hard but right here i'm just shaping it shaping it you could do the same thing at home or your significant other could be doing the same thing Show them this little section how I'm doing it. I'm just kind of running it along the, 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 the face, trying to stay uniform with the other side. Now I'm gonna clean up around the, the, the mustache. Then I go above the lip. First you go below the lip, and then you go above the lip. Again, if you have a Walmart machine or something, this is a home haircut, you could do the same thing with that machine. Just make sure you close your lever and turn your machine the other way, turn it upside down, and you're gonna use it to shape the blade, to shape the beard. Very simple, very easy, very quick. But then again, if you're doing a home haircut, guys, I don't suggest you go quick and efficient. Just go nice and slow, you know? If um, you can already see this guy's already brought him back to life already, guys. And he's just cleaning it up. Like, right now, he's telling me, like, yeah, man, I don't want <laughs> He's feeling, feeling great right now. So right there, what I'm doing, guys, is I, since I went with a number four on the sides, Remember, I went all the way down to a number four. So what I'm doing right here is I'm using a three and a half, which is an awesome three and a half. It's a detachable blade, which is like a three. So I'm just basically fading down, not fading, but I'm kind of like tapering out the sideburn so that the sideburn itself is a three. The sideburn uh, farther up is a four or five, and then goes farther up. See, it kind of like lightens it up. It gives it that, that little look to make the haircut last a little bit longer. Just real quick. Beard trim. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are probably dreading right now not getting a haircut guys and I know I feel you guys I feel you guys I'm the same way um, keep an eye out guys probably tomorrow if not tomorrow Saturday I'm gonna be dropping another video and I'm gonna be demonstrating how to do the haircut myself I'm gonna be talking through it I'm gonna demonstrate it on my sons I got two sons right here that live with me so you know I haven't done any haircuts in, in almost three weeks but um, I'm holding status fast by that but you know these are my boys they live here in the same house so as long as you're in the same household and you need to do a haircut then 
I'm the significant other that needs to do it. So tomorrow when I take them to the shop, I'm going to actually cut their hair at the shop. I'm going to do a video on how to do a self haircut, guys. So that, it, you know, that way I can show you step by step. That way, whoever's going to do the haircut for you could have more of a tutorial on how to do it. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how to do a fade. I'm not going to show you that. If you guys want to do learn how to do that, you can watch my, one of my other videos. What I'm going to show you guys how to do is a standard haircut like this. Just a regular haircut that will get you by until we get back to work. And, you know, you need to come back to the shop and you have your barber take care of you. You know, ultimately, we don't want you guys to start doing your own haircuts. And you guys think that your, hair, your haircuts are coming out better than the way we do them. This is just to hold you off until this quarantine thing ends and then everybody gets back to work. Because you know what? To tell you the truth, if you guys are here and um, trying to learn haircuts in the meantime while we're closed, you know, we're really, really going to need you guys when, when we do get back to work. Because, you know, a lot of barbers are hurting right now, guys. A lot of barbers. So we're, we really, really need our community support when the time comes and we do get back to work. Because a lot of us are, are going to be so far behind and just trying to play catch up. And, and it's gonna play hard to play catch up when, when you know you, you you haven't been working at all for three weeks, you know. And the longer that we stay out, the longer harder it's gonna be in the second in, in, in the end. So, you know, this is just a, 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 a just a little quick tutorial on on how you could probably give yourself a a, a, a self cut or how about your buddy or or somebody one of your kids or something like that. But I wouldn't recommend doing a zero if you're not you know if you're not familiar with it. I would just recommend that you probably just go with a regular haircut. In other words, let's say right here at the instance, for instance, right here, if you didn't have a beard, if you didn't have a beard, then I would just make him a sideburn right there, right where it's right where it's almost at right there. Just give him a sideburn on both sides, and it would look perfect. You wouldn't even need nothing after that. And that will hold him off until you know until the shops come back open. Hopefully, if God's willing, we'll be back to work by May first. Um, you know, they're saying that the curve of the coronavirus, coronavirus is starting to, to uh, taper off, so that hopefully it, it's not going to carry on too much longer. But, you know, we all got to do our part by staying home and, and, you know, practicing all our sanitary things. And in case you guys are wondering at my shop right here, guys, this is a $35 haircut if you have an appointment. If you don't have an appointment, then it's a $27 haircut. Um, you know, haircut and a beer trim. That's what that's what we charge at our shop. But as you can see right here, the haircut's already done. I, you know, just leaving them leaving them the, the nice, full, thick beard. And um, as as at my shop, as always, guys, if I do a regular haircut or I do a taper, I always finish my haircuts off with a straight razor on the neck. And the reason being, guys, is I want to give them that authentic barbershop feel. Some hot lather on the neck. You know, shave it down with a straight razor. There's no way better than finishing off a haircut like that. For you guys that are here for the home haircuts of course i wouldn't recommend you doing that to yourselves guys because it isn't it's very very difficult uh i wouldn't even encourage you to have your significant other do that yet because um you know basic haircut will be is simple enough but to have to use a straight razor and all that that's a lot more it's, just, it's a skill that you need to you, you have to be uh, uh trained in but as guys, you guys can see already, this is a little transformation guy that came in looking like a quarantine after a year, and, and now he's looking like a, you know, like CEO of a of a beard company. You know what I mean? So he has a, a, a really nice beard. Came out pretty good at, as far as I can see, guys. But guys, again, we we encourage you guys to subscribe to our channel even if you're here for home cuts guys if you guys are like our content make sure you guys subscribe to our channel uh, if you guys are local if you guys need to come visit our shop you know we have an app on uh, on uh, just down go to your app store and download big al's barbershop and you can see from, find out our address and you can start booking your appointments for next time around but guys i appreciate every single one of you guys coming by my channel and showing some support make sure you guys smash that like button guys make sure you share this with anybody out there that's needing to cut their own hair or has somebody to cut their hair but doesn't really know how to do it pass this video on help them out that will we get get them hooked up and get them to stay home guys because right now the name of the game is to stay home guys if you guys are out there working or you guys are out there looking for haircuts it's not a good idea just stay home guys but with that being said again i appreciate every single one of you guys stopping by my channel Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next quarantine tutorial tomorrow. Grind on.